after a packed show on the first night of the LCW Universe. We've got a hell of a lot of questions that need answering tonight. We're in Providence, and these fans are hyped for Friday Night Smackdown. I'm TJ Bradley, and we're at it again. We're kicking things off tonight with singles action, and here comes Donna Brooke. Looking fantastic, looking strong as all hell. She's gonna go one-on-one -on -one with Candice LeRae here tonight. And as we said on Monday Night Raw, every woman in the locker room is looking to impress Stephanie McMahon, the boss of this universe. So don't be surprised to see Darner and Candice going at it, hammer and tongs. This is going to be a good one. Darner looking relaxed, and I think the fans are enjoying her presence here. This should be a good match. Darner with her strength versus Candice with her guile. I don't know which way this one will go. But I know that it's a great way to kick off the first SmackDown of the LCW Universe. And here comes Candice LeRae. She's looking mean. She's looking ready for action. And the crowd ain't buying what she's selling, but she's going for it anyway. And going back to Monday Night Raw, we saw Abaddon from AEW interrupt the main event and take Charlotte Flair out right when she was on the brink of claiming a spot in the main event of Money in the Bank. And you've got to know, the fallout from that tonight is going to be far-reaching. But not only that, we saw Sasha Banks and Naomi Defeated by Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, and there was more than a whiff of controversy about that one. For those of you that didn't see it, Naomi was pinned by Liv Morgan, but neither of them were the legal women. Well, let's focus on this action here. Candice LeRae getting off to a quick start as she puts it on Darna. Great drop kick there to the back. And Darna already looking like she's in trouble, but that's a good elbow there. And she's ready to show her power to Candace. Look at this, just beating on Candace. What strength, what brutality. And that's what we're about in the LCW universe. There are very few things these women won't do to get ahead. And the fans are absolutely loving that attitude. Candace here. No, Darna with an elbow. And then look at that, just shoves Candace to the mat. What strength! And pounds on her once again. She may just have too much here tonight for Candace. What shots and a kick to the face. And Candace is really struggling here to get to grips with Darner Brook. Great suplex. Candace really needs to pick things up because Darner is starting to run away with this one. And it's another big move, and Candice crashing down to the mat. Fantastic move there by Candice. That's what she needed 
And maybe this is gonna be the turning point of the match. Candice dragging Donna into the center ring. What's she going for here? She's gonna plant Donna's face. Look at that. Face and chest first into the ring. That's an incredible move. And that could be it. But no. It's two. And Candace has a bit more work to do tonight to put away Donna Brooke. And Donna here, tossing Candace out of the ring. This might be smart. Out there, Donna's power advantage is really gonna tell. It ain't about wrestling, it's about fighting, brawling. And look at her pounding on Candice, and the crowd love that. And we're headed back into the ring. Donna here, but Candice picking things up, and she's turning it round on Donna. Great shots, but Donna says, no, thank you, that ain't how this is gonna go down. Candice takes Darna down, and into a submission maneuver, Darna's in trouble here, and that's it, she taps. Candice has got the victory, great submission maneuver, and she's really won that against the run of play if you ask me, because Darna was dominating for large parts of that match. And here we go, what are we gonna see here? Looks like Darna's offering a hand of friendship. And Candace takes it. That's great to see. It was a hard fight, but it was a clean fight. And these two women have a lot of respect for each other. And that's what it's all about. Fight hard, but fight fair. And here we go. The queen is in the building. The fans don't look too impressed with this. But you know that no one is less impressed than Charlotte with what went down on Monday Night Raw. For those of you who missed it, she had the figure eight locked in on Ember Moon. She was gonna win the match and go to Money in the Bank to fight in the main event for the WWE title. And then out of nowhere, Abaddon came down to the ring under cover of darkness and did I don't know what to Charlotte. But it was enough for him to get the pinfall and Abaddon just disappeared. There was no chance for reprisal. There was no explanation. And I don't know how Charlotte can feel after that travesty of justice. And she might be right. Stephanie may need to sort this one out. Wait a minute. That's not Stephanie. That's Becky Lynch. What's she doing here? She's got no power to book matches. She ain't gonna solve this problem for Charlotte. And come on now. Becky doesn't sound like she's very impressed by Charlotte's argument. But you gotta watch the tape back, Becky. It was a screw job well and truly. And yes, Becky has also vacated a title in this universe. But come on! Abaddon was out of order, and what she did to Charlotte was unforgivable. And here's the boss. She'll sort this one out. Go on, Stephanie. Okay, so she's being kind to Becky. She's gonna give her a shot against Bianca Belair tonight. Win 
and Becky's in the main event of Money in the Bank. But that's it. That's right, Stephanie. Charlotte deserves another chance, and she'll fight Alexa Bliss on Monday night. And what about Abaddon? She'll face Shayna Baszler tonight in a no-holds-barred match. And Abaddon, you gotta believe you're about to learn what it's like to be a WWE superstar. And what a main event we've got to look forward to tonight. But we've got more action before that. Here comes Natalia, one of the most experienced women on the WWE roster. She's incredibly talented. What a well-rounded athlete. And she, like everyone else, will be looking to put herself in contention for a title at Money in the Bank. And don't forget, Money in the Bank is no ordinary pay-per-view. We'll also see a Money in the Bank ladder match where a number of women will compete for the right to hold the Money in the Bank briefcase and earn themselves a shot at the WWE title at a time of their choosing. My God, there's so much to play for at that event. And here, Oscar joining us for the first time in the LCW universe. She is one of the brightest stars in the WWE today. And mark my words, she loved to fight for titles. She loved to have some gold around her waist. And her journey starts here tonight against Natalia. And this one should be a slobber knocker. Neither woman will want to lose their first match in the LCW universe. And they've both got all the skills they need to put the hurting on their opponent. The crowd here are definitely behind Oscar. Listen to that roar. The atmosphere is electric. And we've got some big matches coming up. Shayna taking on Abaddon. And I've got to tell you, Abaddon doesn't know what she's in for. Because Shayna is as good as they come. And there ain't no sneaking up in a match one-on-one. -on -one. You can't hide under the cover of darkness. You gotta face the beast. And we're gonna see exactly what Abaddon is made of. Because there ain't no hiding place in the squared circle. Look at this. Oscar just pounding on Natalia. Absolutely dominating her. And Natalia back to her feet and tossing Oscar onto the ring apron. And is she gonna take her out of the ring? It looks like it. Look at this move! Onto the ring apron. Fantastic offense from Natalia. And this is descending into a brawl immediately. And I'm not sure that suits either one of these women. That's it. Oscar throwing Natalia back into the ring. Let's settle this like civilized wrestlers. Beautiful move. And a cover. But no. And I don't think that was even a one count. Natalia is hyped. And Natalia, like so many of these superstars, will break you down one limb at a time. And Oscar just taking too long about whatever she had planned there. Giving Natalia a chance to come back, but oh no! Shot to the back of the head by Oscar. Oh, and dropping Oscar. Onto the top turnbuckle. 
and flinging her out of the ring again. But us, this is no. This is a wrestling match. We're staying in the ring. Lovely shots to the back there, though, by Natalia. And she's got Oscar right where she wants her. But Oscar coming back with double boots to the face. And here we go. Natalia, ball down. No! Oscar counters it. Great work there by Oscar. And this is back and forth. Neither one of these women are able to really gain the advantage. Oscar going for a pin, but I don't think that's anywhere near enough to put Natalia down. And it is just a one count there. Natalia going for a bulldog again, but no, Asuka has that move scouted. She counters, and it doesn't look like there's going to be bulldog action today. But Natalia cinches in the sharpshooter. Asuka might be about to tap. But no, she's fighting her way out. And Natalia puts her down with a clothesline and goes for the pin. And it's a two count. Oscar certainly seems to be slowing down here. And can you blame her? The sharpshooter will put you down. The strain it puts on your back, on your legs, it'll slow the best of them down. Great reversal there by Natalia. And these two women are still fighting for supremacy. And the tunnel into the top turn bucket. And look at this. Pulling her away into a power bomb. Lovely move by Oscar. And this could be it. Oscar going for the big submission. She's got it cinched in. She's right in the middle of the ring. Natalia's in trouble here. Is she gonna? She is. She is. She's tapping. She's tapping. Oscar has won this one. Natalia had no answer for that submission hold. And that's very well done indeed by Oscar. She hung in the match when she needed to. And right when it mattered, she had the big move to put Natalia down. Wait a minute, what's this? Ember Moon! We saw Ember take advantage of Abaddon's interference last week when she beat Charlotte Flair. And what does she want with Stephanie McMahon? And I don't know about that, Ember. I don't see that you owed a title shot for simply covering Charlotte after Abaddon had done all the work. And how about that, Stephanie McMahon showing how fair she is, giving Ember a shot at Io Shirai on Monday Night Raw. Truly, Stephanie McMahon is a great leader. And demonstrating just how great she is, we're about to see Shayna Baszler put the hurting on Abaddon. You don't mess with WWE business. You don't mess with LCW business. And this is going to be a great opportunity to show the world just how tough the WWE women are. Abaddon has not got a clue what's coming for her. And it's one thing to hijack a match, to come out under the cover of darkness and take out one of the greatest women in the history of our sport. It's quite another to go one-on-one -on -one with Shayna Baszler and survive. Here comes Abaddon. That monster. She's hardly human. Look at her. 
easy. Look at her making her way to the ring. What kind of woman is this? This is not what we want in the LCW universe. That face paint, that mask, the weird goings on around her. She's otherworldly. She's got no qualities that we want to see here in the WWE. And you gotta think that once Shayna is through with her, we're not gonna see an awful lot more of Abaddon in these parts. And I, for one, will be glad to see it. Even her entrance music sends shivers down my spine. This ain't wrestling. This is something else entirely. Yeah! And this crowd don't seem to know a good thing or more to the point a bad thing when it's playing in front of their eyes. They're cheering, they're whooping for Abaddon. And if you ever want an example of why you don't trust the people, this is it. I cannot wait to hear the crowd's cheers absolutely wiped out by Shayna Baszler. Stephanie has gone for the right woman here. Because Shayna will wrestle you, she'll fight you, she'll battle you, and it doesn't matter where this match goes, Shayna has got everything she needs to really do a number on Abaddon. And look at that DDT. Yes, Shayna, that's what we want to see. Put this freak down. Abaddon, kicking Shayna when she's down. What does that tell you about her character? Shayna, fantastic. Look at that. A power bomb from one shoulder. And that might be enough to put Abaddon away. Come on, Abaddon. Give it up. You're no match for Shayna and you know it. Here we go, look at this. Shayna is all over Abaddon here. Top rope, what's she gonna do to her? Oh, look at this. Abaddon just has not got a chance. Shayna is absolutely dominating. Wonderful belly to back suplex there. This is beautiful to watch. And Abaddon, clearly just copying Shainer's moves there. Why don't you come up with your own stuff, Abaddon? And how about not kicking a lady when she's down? What strength from Abaddon here? And Shayna hitting the mat. But Abaddon misses an elbow. And there you go, Abaddon. You had your moments in the sun. But Shayna is really putting it to you. And outside of the ring, anything could happen. Put her down, Abaddon. You can't not like that. What is this? This is turning into a street fight. And Abaddon... This ain't wrestling. This is pure brutality. Oh my God. Driving Shayna into that mat. And there's hard concrete beneath those mats. I don't like this at all. And she'll break your back that way. Look at the way she's manhandling Shayna. This is horrifying. That's it, Shayna. Put it on her. You don't have to accept this. And what's Shayna going for here? It's a sledgehammer. Oh, right to the gut of Abaddon. And Shayna drops it. 
That was beautiful. And into the stairs. Abaddon is in all sorts of trouble. And I'm loving this from Shayna. Sometimes you gotta go to the trenches when a woman's just as deranged as Abaddon is. Look at this submission, putting the hurting on her. You ain't gonna get a submission there, but Abaddon. Oh, look at that. What a power bomb. And I don't know how she had the core strength to do that, but tossing Shayna around. And now, no, no! Abaddon has got the sledgehammer. And don't do it, Abaddon! Oh my god! Oh my god! She's putting it to Shayna in a way you just cannot want to see. They say wrestling. My god, that is a sledgehammer. Abaddon, have a heart. You don't do that to fellow professionals. And she's back in the ring and lifting Shayna up. And look at that power bomb. That is brutal. And Shayna is done. She's barely conscious. And I don't know what I just saw. But it sure as hell wasn't wrestling. And oh my god. We're in darkness again. Abaddon, we don't want this. What is this all about? Put the lights back on. How do you do this? Wait a minute. Where's Abaddon? More importantly, where's Shayna? They've disappeared. Ref. Where did they go? The match is finished, but there's no sign of them. Oh my god. What in the hell has Abaddon done now? And I just don't know what to think about the match we witnessed a few minutes ago. But we're moving on. We got Sasha Banks and Naomi out here, and they're not scheduled for a match according to my script. So what the hell are they doing here? We saw, of course, Sasha and Naomi losing to Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan last week. And it sounds like they ain't too happy about it. We know that Naomi was pinned by Liv when neither was the legal woman. And yes, there's an argument to be made that that's a damn screw job. But you gotta say, Naomi was pinned one, two, three. And if you don't wanna lose, you gotta get your shoulder off the mat, whether you're the legal woman or not. And I don't know if Rhea and Liv are gonna answer this call. No, that's Stephanie McMahon, and she's goddamn right. Naomi, your shoulders were down. What do you want? Cry me a river for damn sake. But once again, Stephanie is showing how benevolent a leader she is. She won't sanction another tag match, but she'll sanction a one-on-one -on -one between Naomi and Liv for Monday Night Raw. And if Naomi can win that, she'll earn herself and Sasha a spot at Money in the Bank to fight for the tag titles. And talking of titles. We've got a hell of a main event here. Bianca Belair making her way to the ring. Set to face Becky Lynch. And Stephanie McMahon has said that if Becky Lynch wins this one, she'll get a shot in the main event of Money in the Bank. And just as we saw Charlotte facing off against Ember Moon last Monday night on Raw, this one could go either way. Bianca is one hell of an athlete. She's a rising star here 
in the LCW universe. And there are many, many people who tip her to go all the way to the top and dominate the roster. But one woman who does not share that view is Becky Lynch. She's done it all, and she's nowhere near finished raising hell. The man is coming to SmackDown. The man is coming for the new WWE title. And it's gonna take a hell of an effort to hold her back. We saw what it took to stop Charlotte last week. And that was interference by that. I don't know what to call her. Abaddon. She absolutely screwed Charlotte. These two stars are facing off on Friday Night Smackdown. And Bianca whipping Becky into the corner, but Becky coming back. She doesn't want to be trapped in a corner early on. And look at that strength from Bianca. Dropping Becky down on her front and then powering her to the mat by her hair. Great stuff by Bianca in the splash. Putting the hurting on her here, trying to put the pain into her back. And you gotta know that anyone who uses their power in the ring is using their back every minute of a match. And so that is a great tactic by Becky. If she can take Bianca's back away from her, you gotta think that Bianca's offense will be sorely limited. And these two are having an absolute brawl here. Lovely leg take down there by Becky. Becky, going to the top rope. Wow, taking Bianca down with a big move. And a quick roll up. No. Turns it into a power bomb. Becky is unleashing everything she's got on Bianca. But it barely seems to be slowing the bigger woman down. And look at this. A reverse power bomb there. Becky must have come down to the mat from, I don't know, seven foot, maybe eight foot in the air. And then a regular power bomb. And these are big moves by Bianca. And a suplex. Look at her holding it. My god, what strength. She is dominating Becky Lynch here. And that's no mean feat. And where are we going here? Now Becky's up to her feet. And back in the action. Great resiliency from Becky. It takes a lot to slow her down. And what a shot to Bianca. Brilliant reversal there by Bianca. Look at the strength. And a standing moonsault. She is one hell of an athlete. Could be enough here. No. Becky kicks out. <laughs> Lovely shots there by Becky. What the hell is this? It's the Queen. The Queen is here. She's gracing us with her presence for a second time. But Becky's not paying attention to the match. You gotta stay with the game. 
And has Bianca? No. Becky kicks out. And it looks like that's it for Charlotte. I don't know what that was all about. Was she trying to distract Becky? Was she here to offer some support? I just don't know what it was about. But Becky here with a submission hold on Bianca. Oh, well reversed by Bianca. I thought she was going to be in trouble there. Becky is really coming back strong here after that interference by Charlotte. And what a move from the top rope. That's got to be it. No. Bianca kicks out. And this match continues. My God. Neither of these women want to give in. And Becky now is looking good. But Bianca kicks it to the face and goes to the top rope. Here we go. This could put an end to everything. What a cross body by Bianca. I'm not sure Becky's getting up from that. Follows it up with a splash. And now what are we going to say? Oh my goodness, the power of Bianca to lift Becky from the mat all the way up into the air and then drop her. And I've got to tell you, if I was Bianca, I'd be going for the pin right about now because Becky looks in deep trouble, but you never count the man out. Look at this. But Bianca says no. It ain't going down that way. And she's dragging Becky to the center of the ring. But the man is up. And we're still going at it here. And once again, Bianca reverses that pump handle slam. And what a beautiful move. This could well be it. No. Becky kicks out. And I don't know what it's going to take to keep either one of these women down for a full three count. But it sure as heck looks a little closer after that move from Bianca. I think this is going to be it. And it... No! Becky kicks out. This is unbelievable. Bianca really thought she had her here. But Becky to her feet. And look at that maneuver. Great comeback and great tenacity. And Becky is cinching in that submission maneuver again. And I don't know if Bianca's gonna escape it this time. The ref's asking. No. Bianca has survived, but how much damage will that have done to her arm, to her pectorals? Not enough to stop her making that move, clearly. But Becky now has got the moonsault scouted. She rolls out of the way and puts Oh, look at this. Bianca down into the armbar. I don't think she's going to get out of it this time. She's in big, big trouble. And the ref calls it. It's over. Becky has won. She's put the hurdle on Bianca. And Bianca has given up. And Becky Lynch has won her first match in the LCW universe. And she will go to Money in the Bank to fight for the WWE title. My God, what a night on SmackDown. Thank you for being with us. Make sure you come back for Monday Night Raw.